Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the ASI number 3454 series swing away grab bar. This is uh, a inch and a quarter diameter tube stainless steel grab bar. Okay, round bar. And generally with unwieldy items like this, it's <laughs> I don't usually make videos because it's too, just too difficult. Inch and a quarter diameter bar, all the way from over here, all the way down in its perimeter back to the square tube that it's all connected to. Okay, There is, and thankfully so, there is a link below this video to a document called Cut Sheet where we will be able to review what it looks like in a dimensional property. Uh, first of all, you've got the inch and a quarter diameter tube. Uh, then you're going to have this square post. It's inch and a half by inch and a half. Yeah. So the square post that's over here is inch and a half by inch and a half. You've got the pin at the top, and you've got the pin down at the bottom. Okay. Now, let's go over the other parts, and the link to the cut sheet is really your installation instructions as well. You have the large floor plate, and everything is stainless steel. This is stainless steel as well. That floor plate's going to get bolted down to the floor. Fasteners are not included for any of this. Uh, obviously, proper reinforcing for the wall is going to be absolutely mandatory. Uh, the link to the cut sheet shows your placement of the plate. The, Conveniently, they say from the wall to the edge of the plate is inch and an eighth. So that's easy. That's going to give you the proper um, vertical axis of pivoting for the pins as they sit into the floor plate and then into the top. Very heavy piece of stainless steel. Okay. So the top pin is going to fit like this. Okay. The bottom will be the same sort of principle. And when it's in the locked, use, used position, it's going to look like this. Okay. To get it to move, you're going to lift it up. It's hard to do it with just one hand, naturally. You're going to get it to move up, and then it will rotate and fall back down and lock in place just like that. So you lift it up again and swing it back in, or it locked back down. Now, I can lift this straight off and out of the bottom floor plate, and that's because we don't have the top angle bracket installed, and obviously that pin, there'll be enough margin between the top of the bar and the inside height of the plate to allow for that movement. Now, I have measured, I'd like to do a reality check with dimensions uh, when it comes to uh, restroom equipment. I find that it varies a little bit. The upper left hand corner where it shows 33 inch from the floor to the center line of your inch and a quarter diameter bar that appears to be accurate. It has an overall height uh, they say of 34 and a half. I found it to be 34 and three quarter which actually suits because it works then in conjunction with the other important dimension which is on the right side 36 and one quarter inch from the top of the plate down to the finished floor. That difference between 30 on the left side, 33 plus inch and a half, which is really a quarter inch more than that, and the 36 and a quarter allows for that vertical movement of the bar to swing in or out and back and lock down without it falling out. The length of the pins, top and bottom, the depth of the prep down here, the height between the top of the bar and where the inside top of the plate, all that has to match. And that 36 and a quarter inch dimension works. Uh, do a reality check is what I'm thinking uh, before you go drilling holes. Always do a reality check. I'd get that bottom plate in place. I'd get the top, I'd get the bar set into it carefully and then I would reality check. I'd mark the wall where my 36 and a quarter needed to come through and then I would basically test the operation and make sure it worked really good. Why do I say that? Well, the fact of the matter is occasionally, very occasionally, but nonetheless it happens, 
you'll find that there's a discrepancy between the technical drawing and the actual piece of hardware. And then when I've contacted the manufacturer, oh my gosh, thanks for bringing that to our attention. <laughs> what? Luckily, I didn't drill 100 holes. So um, now, keep in mind that your vertical axis of pivoting, of course, needs to be plumb. So the imaginary vertical line of that spindle needs to mate with that so that that's all plumb. Okay, but that's very simple and straightforward. Uh, the rest of the cut sheet gives you every important dimensional detail, which I'm not going to beleaguer here. Uh, what you need to know is the 3454 is an inch and a quarter diameter, 18 gauge, uh, stainless steel, type 304 stainless, with a satin, a brushed satin finish. Your floor plate is eighth of an inch thick. This is certainly thicker than that. Without getting a caliper, it's a quarter inch stainless steel in a brushed finish. Um, swing away grab bar is manually pulled forward to a position perpendicular to the wall for support and pushed, lifted and pushed back against the wall for storage during departure or arrival. Grab bar drops into position, locking the post socket at 90 degree index positions and must be manually lifted to swing the bar into the new open or closed position. Uh, the certifications are there, uh, designed for 250 pound loads. Mounting to the wall is a critical part of the system to meet this requirement. As a result, we have an option where you can select a uh, anchor plate where you would want that should you be creating the wall, uh, building the wall, and you want a piece of steel plate that you're going to use to drill and tap. Uh, it would have holes actually drilled and tapped, but the location of that has to be perfect, naturally. Uh, installation is down below uh, here as well, giving you the uh, details on how to go about doing that, which we've kind of just already covered. Now, the name ASI is synonymous with all things commercial restroom uh, hardware equipment related. And there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line ASI catalog and review all things uh, commercial restroom accessory hardware or equipment uh, related, not only specialty grab bars, but every grab bar that you can imagine. Soap dispensers, toilet tissue, toilet paper dispensers, combination waste units, mirrors, sanitary napkin disposal, everything associated with, with that product line. I'm partial to ASI and it's because they do a good job. They're, they're, they have very good inventory, they have excellent customer service technical support. They're predictable, they're reliable. You know what you're getting day in and day out with them. A good, dependable, reliable product. And if you're considering a large project, take a long, hard look at ASI. They've been in business for decades. They stand behind their product with their technical support. And I think it's someone that you'll be happy that you made an arrangement or a, uh, a relationship with, I should say. If you have any questions on the ASI 3454 swing away style grab bar, or any other ASI product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.